Hey everybody, it's winter, finally, out here in California. Paul Gorman, the Gormanator, some of you know me. I'm here to talk about big guy golf. You know, I got tall guy golf guide, not big guy. Big chest, muscles, uh, you know, have a different kind of arm hang and availability to them with uh, arms and the body, right? So, my son is a pretty big guy, and uh, he's got a style of a grip that's his own, uh, which is defined... Uh, what is in the golfing machine as 10 to F, okay? And I got a picture in there to show you what that's about. Now, before we get into this, going to Mexico, taking you guys with me. I've got several guys lined up to go in January to do golf schools out there. Uh, learning about alignment golf, uh, blending in the stack and tilt, the Morad of Mac O'Grady, the golfing machine stuff, so that it's easy to follow along and you can really uh, begin to understand how to work the swing plane, the wrist joints, how to create speed with the uncocking, when to apply it, how to swivel the hands and arms, how to get your pivot sequence with the arms. All these things that are going to make you just a better golfer and just go piece by piece. So we spend five nights, six days there, play the best golf courses by Nicholas and Weisskopf, and have a lot of fun on the water at the Marriott in Puerto Vallarta. Five minutes from the airport. See you there. Uh, just send me a note if you want to get in. Got dates set, ready to go. Let's get to see Zach and Medi, the big guy. All right, thank you. All right, hey everybody, it's Paul Gorman, the Gormanator, or some of you know me. Uh, the Golfing Machine, Homer Kelly's book that he wrote years ago, that is the genesis for many of the systems out there, such as Stack and Tilt, Morad from Mac O'Grady. Uh, use the book in, uh, immensely for that. And uh, what I want to do is show you the different grip types that are defined in there and introduce you to my son, Zach, okay? Because he's got a grip that would uh, suggest that he's really going to hook the ball, though he does not, you know? And it's a 10 2 F uh, grip in the book, which is a, a TTU, a turned, turned, and under grip. So on the handle, it's turned, Left hand's turned, that's the first tee. Second is the right hand turned, so it's turned, and it's also under the grip handle. So Fitzpatrick uses turned, on the, and then on the side, or aft, where Zach uses this very under action, right? And you're also gonna meet Med in here, uh, who used, uh, gave him this grip so that he could get the, the path. So uh, my son's a big boy. And Med is a big guy, he's a weightlifter. So stocky big guys, that's what this video is about and how to get a draw or a consistent in to out pattern going on. So when you put that grip on there, such as this, you can see the cup of my elbow here is facing you, right? And it looks very strong. Now, this is a hinge only grip. So there's hinge and there's rolling. And this grip is just hinge it on plane, unhinge it and come through and pivot through. Um, and very consistent with the ball flight. My son just hits these wonderful high spinny straight balls with his irons and, and driver. So um, just to understand that the options are in there, they're all defined in this book, The Golfing Machine. And I'm certified by Lynn Blake out of Atlanta, master instructor who met with Homer Kelly several times and knows the book inside out. And uh, I use it in my, in my teaching without calling it such. And I blend in a little stack and tilt here and there and, and more add. Mac O'Grady's uh, uh, wonderful models of golf swings and components and joint alignment. So it's a lot of talking there, but let's meet Zach, see Medi. Medi got into this setup where he put that grip under and he, all of a sudden he could feel that he could come from inside every time, okay? When he was out here, because he's a big bulky dude, you know, he's very muscular, big chest, worked out uh, for years. Uh, had trouble, you know, getting into a position where he could deliver that club from the inside like that. So, vertical to the plane is this with your hands. Turn to the plane is this this way, and turned is that way as well. See if you can see me there. So, vertical, hands vertical, parallel or turn to the plane. Hogan's plane over here. So, when we start here in the backswing, we rotate our arms and, and get into a position where they're flat, flat on the glass plane, right? A little windy there. Um, so that would be in this position, right? Which would go right down to where the ball target line is. So in essence, 
it would look something like that. That would be the swing plane going down the bottom of the plane line down there. Okay, you got it? So that uh, positioning could start this way, like Zach with, and, and Medi now, with a very turned grip, which is a strong hooking grip that is out there in the world of golfery, right? And that's just not exactly it. Wonderful thing about this grip is it cocks. The hand will cock right up into the lifeline or and or cock on plane. Right, so that you don't have to roll it and then get it on plane. It's already on plane. All you got to do is cock it, take it up, uncock it, pivot through. So that's uh, the idea with this video to show you big guy golf, okay, and how this can help you. So um, that's that. Pretty pure, right? Yeah, I like that. Huh? Felt good? Yeah. Yeah. So, the come on. The grip made a, I, I feel it made a difference. Yeah. Yeah. The grip. Yeah, it's the grips. It's me to, it, it, it literally forces me to. Get in a side bend yeah. slot? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> so, this is what I was gonna explain to you guys. This is Gormanator here with my friend Med. And we're talking about the, the hands and how you put them on the club. We'll take the joints of the elbows and set them in a way that provides you your swing path. So big dude, big chest, um, strong. But if the hands go to shake hands with thumbs down, getting into the slot's hard. So what you just said, as soon as we turn this hand over, now the hand's on plane already, on the plane, right? This one went under. And now your arms, like you said, feel like they're going to come in easily. You can stay there. You can see I'm in, it automatically feels that way. And as far as the elbow joints and our positions of elbow joints, uh, position one is this, two is here, and three is here for the elbow joints. Well, when you set up like we're talking about with a Fitzpatrick-style grip, this elbow is at three, and then you put this one under, and it's at one already. So from here, you just wind up and unwind. You're going to feel like it's easy to get into that that spot. Where are you going? There you go. So it also, what else does it do? It helps us rotate and square the face up, draw, right? So now you get the benefit of the slot, the feeling of this tilted right side, right side bend, staying right there. Yeah. Here we go, right? And also, it's going to help you feel like when you come through, you have more rotation of the, of the wrists available, right? So they're on plane here, and then they're going to go vertical to the plane, right? Like I was saying. And then they go beyond that back on the plane on this side. So there's action going on. And if your hand's on top too much here, then you start to, we, most people start to do it with their body, right? So before, yeah. come on now. No, before, I, I guess I, my shoulders were compensating for my inability to turn. Right. When you change the grip, it's my wrist that is making my shoulder do the right like thing. Like this? Yeah. Right? Exactly. That's the number three here. Right. Come on over. That's the num number three position of the elbow. It's already there, right? Right, exactly. But if it's here, then if I did do what you're saying, it would open the face, yeah. right? So if I go into that position, then I'm open, then you hit it over there, and then you stop doing that. Right. But if you put it turned here, and then we've got the yeah. square club face, yeah. and the pulling arm, boom. Right. Awesome. Yeah, so that's a little tidbit for you guys out there just to understand that how you put the hands on the club will provide you different angles for, one, release pattern, you know, letting the wrist roll from an on-plane position to a vertical to plane position to on-plane again over here. And with this turn grip, 
you're already on the plane here. All you got to do is let it go, right? And it's going to square up. Yep. But it also gives you the other angle that we're talking about is the body angle. Yep. It sets us in this slot action. Yep. So if you guys are having trouble over the top, can't curve the ball, can't get the path of the club mm -hmm. coming from the inside, well, this is what we do with these positions this way, right? Yep. It's tough, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. You gonna hit another one? Yeah. Uh, do we have time? Yeah. So. See what you want. Well, I'm sending it anyway. Conversation, yeah. conversation will you? Maybe. <laughs> it was quite a good one. That was very good. Uh, that. So yeah, we're on. Uh, yeah. We're on. So. Yeah. So let me. Uh, Come over closer. Turn to the camera and put the, go ahead and turn to the camera. Stand over here, face the camera, and just show, you know. Okay, there's the old grip, right? Okay. Put them down. So this one's over. So you see the back of that emblem, easy, and then the other one under. Just so that hand goes underneath like that, and that provides you this feeling already, right? Mm -hmm. Like you were talking about. Yeah. It's easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you were, like you said earlier, it's like, didn't we talk about that a month ago? Six weeks ago. Six weeks ago. Yeah, you know, we get off and right. and things aren't working. Sometimes we go in a different direction of what we think yeah. it is that we need to do. Mm -hmm. Hands the club. There's a, there's our weapons, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the things that are, you know, closer to the brain. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, the hands and the distance from them, not our feet and knees and things that are down further. So... We're educated with the hands, uh, mm -hmm. and they provide the action of the wrists and forearms and closer to the club head and everything else. So you got to make sure that we're organized with this grip, seeing the back of that hand a lot, not one knuckle, two knuckle, but just do too much, and then just come on under this way. Now you got all position three, mm -hmm. one, and the body bend is put in place. So, yeah, that's cool that you could feel that right away. Maybe. Too much hook. Yeah. First one today. Yeah. Uh, so just focus. Yeah. Hitting the tee with the ball. There you go. Grips on there, good. That thumb inside the pocket. Yeah. There. There you go. The lifeline you had it kind of there. Yeah. Hmm. Happy birthday, right. right? Thank you. Nice new club, and uh, it's, it's going to be good, yeah. you know? So, you're not going to forget this, are you? No, I'm going to go practice. Okay. That's how you do it. Um, practice. With...